as you know, Forex trading is the process of exchanging one currency for another currency, known as buying and selling currency pairs, based upon exchange rates from the Forex market. Now, later in this video, I'll show you the seven basic factors that helps determine a country's foreign currency rate. The Forex market is the largest global market with nearly seven trillion in currency traded on average per day. The actual amount, the actual average amount is 6.59 trillion. That's trillion with a T in currency traded on average each day. When it comes to trading foreign currency, you will use a Forex broker, also known as a currency trading broker, to place your trades. You can open an account, deposit funds, then use the broker's trading platform to buy and sell currency using margin. Now, the Forex markets are open 24 hours a day, five days a week. Most Forex brokers require a minimum deposit of between 100 to 250 US dollars to start trading. So it's reasonably affordable to get started. However, you can lose that $100 in one day. In fact, you can lose that $100 in five seconds. Here is the list of the most popular exotic currency pairs in the world that is traded on the Forex market. You can see the list on your screen. The other way to do this is to physically buy and hold exotic currencies until a future date or when the currency yields a profit. Not all exotic currency investors use the Forex market where the learning curve can be steep and a mistake can cost you all of your money. The downside is you cannot buy and sell within seconds when you do things the old-fashioned way. Always, always invest in moderation, meaning never, ever invest more than you can afford to lose. Now, always remember the seven factors which help determine a country's foreign currency rate. To be an effective Forex trader, you need to have constant access to news of the country or countries you are thinking of investing in. If you are not a day trader by profession, you can report your profits and losses on Schedule D of your Form 1040 U.S. tax return. You will need the date and amount of your purchase and the date and amount of the sale. You will owe taxes on your profits. You can also deduct losses up to a certain amount. But this channel is not about losses. This channel is about encouraging you to learn the basics. There is a link and a book recommendation in the description. Please take advantage, learn, employ self-discipline. The Forex market is nothing to play with.